doesn't exhaust the body of healthy people. So what are unhealthy people? Well, unhealthy people are people that eat sugar. Sugar exhausts the adrenal glands. Stress does that to you. So how do you eliminate stress? Well, I wish I could give you the answer for that. We all have stress. But I can tell you that if you have a lot of stress, and you go home at night, especially if you have a busy day here at Vitamix, and you're making um, wonderful customer service, exercise. Just take a little bit of a walk. You want to get rid of that extra cortisol or cortisone in your body. I see a program yesterday in my, my office about vitality and energy. If you have flabby muscles today, and you have to understand, I'm closer to 60 years old than I am 50 years old. Your body changes. Does anybody agree with me? Your body changes after you're 40, changes more after you're 50, changes more after you're 55. So it's kind of like all the connective tissue lets go. If you have a lot of stress in your life, and you're not eating enough protein, and you're eating too much sugar, you're not gonna have enough fuel in your body, and you're gonna always be exhausted. Just wanna throw that off. Let's talk about the thyroid gland. If your thyroid gland is not functioning optimally, guess what you're gonna have? Cold hands and cold feet. Anybody in the room ever have cold hands and cold feet? Cold hands and cold feet are a body signal to mean that you have a low thyroid. The thyroid gland, as you can see there in your notes, is the gas pedal to your body. The adrenal glands are the fuel filter to your body. Now watch this. You know I'm holding in my hand right now, I know you can't see it, but it's a little um, tablet, it's actually a quite a large tablet. This is bromine. Bromine, fluorine, and chlorine are antagonistic to iodine. Bromine, fluorine, and chlorine are antagonistic to iodine. Guess what your thyroid gland needs? Iodine. Guess what most of you are deficient in? Iodine. So we usually start our patients off with 12 milligrams of iodine every day for about a week or two. Then we have them go to, I'm sorry, we usually have to take off three milligrams a day for a week or two. And every week we in, in, increase it by three milligrams until they're getting to 12 milligrams a day. That's how much I take. That's how much the average Japanese woman takes. There's about two or three items that are so significant that's going on in the world today for people that have sickness. One is lack of iodine. You can very easily test for iodine. There's a urine iodine loading test, TSH, T3, and T4. But if you're cold hands and cold feet, it's a body signal for uh, a low thyroid gland. If you have constipation, body signal for a low thyroid gland. Um, high cholesterol, depression, fatigue, headaches in the morning that go away as the day goes on. It's a very common body signal. You have to fuel your thyroid. We actually have a toothpaste that we sell in our office that's fluorine free. We don't promote fluoride. We don't promote fluorine. I actually have shower dechlorinators on our website we sell to our patients because the chlorine that you breathe and take in the shower is very antagonistic to your thyroid gland. Dr. David Fram, who's a friend of mine, wrote a book called The Answer to Cancer, I'm sorry, The Cancer Battle Plan, and he says in his book the number one cause of breast cancer is a low thyroid gland because of it causing constipation and a few other issues. Let's talk about sugar. We talked about that a few minutes ago. Sugar takes away minerals in your body. Minerals act as the spark plug in your body. Your body, your battery, needs minerals. Minerals act as the spark plug. Well, how do you know if you don't have enough minerals in your body? Leg cramps at night. Bright light by the eyes. Craving salt. Craving salt is not wrong. We use a product called mm. Celtic sea salt. Your body is really craving minerals. Your body is craving minerals. Your adrenal gland is exhausted. You're going to want to eat more protein. Very significant. So minerals act as a spark plug in your body. We use Celtic sea salt because it's a full blend of minerals. We don't promote sodium chloride or Morton salt because it actually has sugar in it. I don't know if you know that or not. And has aluminum in it. So don't want to look at your Morton salt to be, to be amazed by what they put in the, the salt today. Depression. People who are depressed are usually tired. 50 million Americans are depressed. It's very common today. One of the items that we encourage our patients to use is flax oil. There's a tablespoon of flax oil every day for 100 pounds. I'm just going to give you a little side note. There's a test that we do in our office. It's called the essential fatty acid blood test. I could literally, with 
the prick of a finger, or you can do it in the convenience of your own home, take a blood sample from your finger, send it to a lab in Georgia, and they would tell me the amount of essential fatty acids in your body. One particular one that's important to us, which is a long chain fat, it's called DHA. You might write that down. DHA, docosahexaenoic acid. Go Google it. DHA is fat for the brain. If you eat french fries, french fries alter the fats in your brain. So does peanut butter. What I have found one of the leading causes of depression is a low thyroid, lack of flax oil, and you might, write, you might want to write this term down to it's called tyrosine. Tyrosine is an amino acid that's specific for depression. Tyrosine and iodine make thyroid hormone. You need to have purpose in your life. You need to have love. Love is rule covers a multitude of challenges that people deal with. Purpose is, you know, people die for lack of vision, people die for lack of purpose. So I don't know what your purpose in life is. If you don't have a purpose in life, I had a guy that started crying in my office. He was 59 years old. I wanted to smack him. He looked at me and he goes, I just retired and I don't have purpose. And I thought, then why did you retire for? He was a school teacher. I said, you got to get a purpose, you know? He wanted me to cuckoo him. I wasn't going to cuckoo him. I was ready to smack him because he was acting like a little kid. So you need to have a purpose. I'm not trying to sound abrasive, but you know, somebody has to do it. It might as well be me. So I'm just trying to make a difference. You know, you have to get, figure out what you want to do with your life. Probably shouldn't have said that, but hope my wife doesn't watch this. Okay, exercise. Exercise increases blood flow. Blood flow increases oxygen. If you don't exercise and you're tired, get off your fanny and start moving. At least a half hour every day. I don't even care what you do. You can just do this for a half hour every day. But do something. You can see when you exercise, it increases blood flow. When you increase blood flow, you increase oxygenation. Now, we, I've been uh, practicing as a chiropractor since 1978. This is a little spine. Larger spines are bigger than this. What's really awesome with chiropractic is your body wastes a lot of energy trying to keep you erect. I'll say that again. You waste a lot of energy if you have a poor posture. Because your body is continually trying to erect your posture. So if your posture is improved and functioning normally, your body will use less energy. It's called a writing response. I have patients that come in that are like this. Their body's always trying to... Do you, ever see, you don't ever see anybody like this ever, do you? But you see them like this. Whatever happens to your head affects the rest of your body. So part of the reasons that I know some of our patients start to have more energy is we improve their posture. At the same time, there's three vertebrae in your neck. The third, fourth, and fifth cervical. The third, fourth, and fifth cervical affect a nerve called the phrenic nerve. P-H-R-E-N-I-C. The phrenic nerve is the nerve that goes to your diaphragm. If you have subluxation or misalignment here in your neck and it's compressing the nerves to your diaphragm, guess what you're not going to be able to do very well? Breathe. So if you can't breathe, what's going to happen? You're going to have less energy. One other item, and I can talk to you for an hour just on this one subject alone, is digestive distress and a hiatal hernia. If you have a hiatal hernia, it's a sign that you have digestive distress, but at the same time, you can have a breathing problem because the diaphragm takes attachment to the lumbar spine. So you can have low back pain that affects the diaphragm that can decrease your energy. So I have a degree in spinal engineering. What our goal is to do is to improve our patient's alignment. So if your alignment's improved, your oxygenation's improved, and you're going to have more energy. So adjustments turn the power on in your body. We talked about water briefly earlier. Um, water gives fuel to a battery. If you consume, most of the beverages you drink in the daytime are coffee, tea, soda, monster drinks, highly caffeinated drinks, and alcohol, you're not putting water in your body, you're going to be always exhausted. I mean, you will never get over that. You'll be constantly trying to take something to build your body back up. You want to be happy, happy, happy. Unhappy people are sick. Happy people don't tend to get sick. And the reason is, there's something called positive polyneuropeptides. What does that mean? Well, there's amino acids and there's transmitters in your body that will keep you healthy, 